Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today, as you will have uh, guessed by the title of the video, it is another collection and declutter. This time I am aiming to do powders, bronzers, contour, blush and highlight. Um, there's a lot here, so we'll see how we go with time. If it's dragging on, then I will split it into two videos, but yeah. Firstly, before I dive in, with my first collection and declutter video, that was the primers, foundations and concealers, I completely forgot to add the Makeup by Lisa Flawless Mineral Foundation. I have it in the shade Nude. I love this, it is going nowhere. This is my only powder foundation. I love it, 100% it will go nowhere. So let's start with powders. So I'm gonna start with one that I know is definitely going, um, partly because I'm pretty sure Benefit aren't cruelty free, um, but also I haven't touched this since the last declutter. I mean, it is it's hit pan. I used to wear it a lot, but I haven't touched this in crikey. It must be nearly a year. So uh, that's going in the declutter part. I do have a box down to the left of me for items that are being decluttered. And don't worry, all of the products will have homes to go to. I have plenty of friends and family who love makeup. So uh, yeah. And so let's go in with the next one. And it is OPV London. It is the Loose Setting Powder Translucent. I really, really enjoy this. It's really nice, finely milled, lightweight, non-drying powder. I love it, it's staying. There's not really much you can say about powders, is there? <laughs> but anyways. So next up is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is a favorite, I use this a lot. It is such an amazing powder. It lives up to the hype, I love it and uh, I'm so happy to have it. This is one that when I run out, I will definitely get another one, definitely. So obviously that's staying. <laughs> and uh, next up is another Laura Mercier powder. This is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. This is beautiful. I use the Laura Mercier powder like all over. And then this I use kind of as a finishing powder just to add that bit of glow to my skin if I want it. It's beautiful again I actually got this by mistake initially thinking that it was the original one um, but when I tried it I, I couldn't part with it so uh, yeah staying so the next powder is from Nabla is the close-up baking and setting powder um, I have used well a lot of this <laughs> I don't know if you can see oh. I don't know if you can see how little there is in there now. Um, this is another favourite. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend this. Nice, finely milled, lightweight, comfortable powder, non-drying. What more could you ask for? But yes, I will definitely be replacing this when it is gone because I love it. So the next powder is a really amazing, affordable powder. It's from Catrice. It's their Nude Illusion Loose Powder Transparent Mattes. This is beautiful. I'm actually wearing this today. It's such an amazing powder. See, I have so many products from Catrice that are just amazing and not just for the price. They're just amazing products. And this powder is one of those amazing products. See, if anyone asks what the best affordable powder is, I generally point them in the direction of this one because, yeah, I highly recommend it. And it's nice and affordable. And then there is the Revolution Pro Pressed Finishing Powder. I love this. Apart from the Laura Mercier Glow, um, this is the only other finishing powder I have. Um, this, of course, is a pressed one. Um, I know it looks white, but it, it doesn't come out white. It leaves a really beautiful kind of lip from within glow really really lovely and again it is another affordable powder revolution pro is an affordable brand so next up we have the rcma no color powder 
I used to swear by this. This was my ride or die amazing powder when my skin was super, super oily. Um, now, when I have the dry patches, I do find that it does cling a bit to those dry patches. Um, unfortunately, this was such an amazing powder and you get so much for your money. There's three ounces in there. It's amazing. Um, but unfortunately, with my change of skin due to age skincare, I'm still not sure. Um, but yes, this doesn't suit my skin anymore, so this will be going. And now we're on to the last powder, and this is the Makeup by Lisa Finishing Powder Matte. Another amazing powder, another finely milled, lightweight, beautiful setting powder. So yeah, this is another powder that I can highly recommend. Makeup by Lisa is a small new indie brand and she's smashing it and yeah this powder is beautiful right so that is powders done so we have kept seven and decluttered two that's not too bad all right let me just pop these out of the way so that we can get on with bronzers and contour so on to contour and bronzers i'm going to go through the palettes first so first up i have my Too faced coco contour and she looks like this i love this oh, it smells of chocolate it smells of chocolate and the formula is beautiful so yeah, for their purpose, I can use all of these four and these two make really nice eyeshadows. So I think this would be a really nice travel companion, not that any of us are traveling anywhere. Um, I'm not even traveling down the road, but it's besides the point. So yes, my Too Faced Cocoa Contour palette is definitely staying. And Next up we have the Revolution Roxy Roxorus Contour and Highlight Palette. It's very shiny. Try not to blind you. And I really enjoy this. As you can probably see by I have hit pan. And that is a perfect contour shade for me. The highlighters I don't tend to use so much. But if I bring this out to use the powders then sometimes I'll use one of the highlighters but yeah I really enjoy it and this was also a present from my daughter so it ain't going nowhere so we are now on to sleek makeup and this is the face form contouring and blush palette so I have not picked this up in easily a year so uh that's going in the declutter pile and then next up we have the i heart revolution chocolate marble and on the inside it looks like this um this one i do enjoy um in the summer in the in the winter and you know right now um it's too deep for it's too deep for me um, however, in the summer, this makes a beautiful bronzer and an amazing highlight. So that is staying. Whew. We've still got a long way to go. <laughs> and then next up, we have the I Heart Revolution Milk Chocolate. And uh, she looks like this. Again, this is more of a bronzer. bronzer? Again, <laughs> this is... I really can't speak. I use this as a bronzer and I don't use that powder at all. I I use this as a bronzer. However, I haven't picked it up in a long time. So I'm just going to pop that in the declutter box and move on. And so next up we have the I Heart Revolution Light Contour Palette. This is not a contour palette. That is a bronzer and that is a highlight. Um, I've used it a handful of times. I just don't reach for it. It doesn't call to me at all. So that's going in the declutter box. So this is the last of the palettes in this section and it is the Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette. I have it in Cool and Light. Um, I love that you've got the little plastic slip that says 
fill shade and chisel but these are the shades this is perfect for me in winter time um i can imagine it's going to be a little bit too pale when i've got my tan but for now this is beautiful and i definitely will not be parting with this i am so happy I have this. I wanted it for the longest time and as soon as I had the opportunity to own it I grabbed it. So going nowhere. Right I'll do the cream ones first. Right so first up these two came as a set for contour and they are the Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. So whilst these are sold as foundation sticks revolution kind of jumped on the bandwagon so to speak so they put together contour kits so i think, believe it's light medium deep um but yeah i'm not quite sure what one i got in the end um but i have f11 for my contour shade and f6 for kind of sharpening up underneath however i do think this would be the right colour for me is a foundation. So I am going to try it out as its original intended purpose. I don't often sharpen up with another cream product. I would tend to head for powder. Um, so yeah, the contour stick, foundation slash contour stick is staying. I really enjoy it. And I think I'm going to pop this in with my foundations and give it a go that way. So next up we have the Kiko Milano Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour. I have it in the shade 200. That was really tough. And this is what she looks like. I use this a lot. I picked this up after seeing Nikki Raven using it and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. And yeah, I love it. I think it is beautiful. It is it's very difficult with this one. If you're kind of my skin tone, um, it's difficult to go too overboard. Um, however, if you are very pale, then I would definitely go with a light hand. But yeah, I really, really love this. So the last of the cream contours is my favourite and it is the So Sue Cream Contour Stick in the shade Cool. This is my favourite. I I love it to the point, I don't know if you can see, look, it's very used. I love this. Um, for anyone starting out with cream contour, if you're my skin tone or lighter then go in gently because it is very pigmented but it does blend out beautifully so whilst i do love my kiko milano contour stick i this is my favorite i love it and you can get this on beauty bay right so we are moving on now to the powders I have one contour powder here and the rest are bronzers. So we'll go with the contour first. And this is the Sculpting Powder in Light to Medium. This is from Peaches and Cream, a UK indie brand. And this is what she looks like. Um, this is beautiful. I use it a lot. Let me just swatch it so you can see the shade of this. Oh, crikey. So that is that's the shade i i love it yeah this is something i reach for a lot ever since i got it it's kind of always at the top of the drawer so it's easy to find which shows how often i reach for it so 100 percent staying and peaches and cream are a brand that i've recently tried a few products out from their loose pigments are amazing i love them especially super freak oh my word if you like kind of a toxic acid yellow then i'm gonna have to show you now because i'm talking about it so i know this is 
um, off topic. However, this is super freak and I can highly recommend this. So I do have a few pigments from Peaches and Cream and I love them. Right, so moving on to the powder bronzers. First up I have the MUA Bronzed Matte Bronzing Powder. Um, as you can probably see, I used to use this a lot. I haven't touched it. Oh, it's not a mirror. <laughs> I haven't touched this in months. I, I just don't ever reach for it because I have bronzers now that I just love. So that's going into clutter. And and then we have the collection bronze glow mosaic one. Um, it is the shade one sun kissed. Again, I used to use this a lot. It it's got a shimmer to it as well. Um, I haven't touched this again in months because you will see when I show you the next three bronzers why. But yes, yeah, so in the declutter pile. So yeah, everything I've decluttered so far is not because it's a bad product. It's either because I don't reach for it because I have other products I prefer or it doesn't suit my skin type anymore. So I'd say the next bronzer is my favourite. Gets used an absolute ton. And this is the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. Oh, I love this so much. So much. It is such a beautiful bronzer. Now I know Nabla does other shades of this bronzer and also in this kind of star packaging there is the highlighters and the blushes. I'm desperate to try some of those now. It's a really nice buildable formula and it's just my perfect bronzer shade. I love it. So obviously that's going nowhere. <laughs> And then next up is the Kiko Milano Waterflower Magic Bronzer in 01 Warm Honey. And she did have, you can still see the remnants of the pattern. She did have a really beautiful pattern in there. Um, this is a really, really nice bronzer. It smells amazing. It is a beautiful formula. I love it. Let me just show you this a color. So I'll pop this here. So this is the Kiko. So this is the Kiko Waterflower Magic Bronzer in 01 Warm Honey. And then I will swatch the Nabla, Nabla Skin Bronzing in June underneath it. So that is the Nabla Skin Bronzing. And then finally is another Kiko Milano bronzer is Unexpected Paradise and it's in the shade 02 Universal Sienna. And look at the size of that. Isn't she a beauty? And this one smells of coconut. Oh, heaven. So let me get a good squiz of that. And then I will pop that underneath again so that is the unexpected paradise bronzer so yeah as you can see they're very very similar shades all of them suit me i love so yeah that is it for the bronzers and contours so i have three palettes and two bronzers in the declutter box so yes proud of that <laughs> so I'm gonna take a quick break because my back is killing I'm really struggling to sit up straight so I'm gonna have a quick break and um, for you I will be right back um so yes <laughs> I will be back in a moment so I'm back from my rest and and firstly I need to add a powder that I completely forgot to add because it was in my box of shame and that is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I have it in the shade Butter. And again, I bought this because of Nicky Raven's reviews on it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it. So it's not going anywhere. 
so we are now on to blushes i'm first going to go with the palettes um so the first blush palette i have is the i heart revolution marshmallow and these are the shades so while there are some really amazing shades in there i don't reach for this palette at all so i am going to pop this in the declutter box and I think it's going to be the same for the next one, the Sleek Makeup Blush by 3 palette, Pink Lemonade. And this is two powder blushes and a cream blush in the middle. I never reach for it. So that is another one in the declutter box. Doing good so far. So next up is the I Heart Revolution Ruby Chocolate. She looks like this. Again, don't ever reach for it anymore. So it will be joining the others in the declutter box. And the last of the blush palettes is the Beauty Bakery Piece of Cake blush palette. It's got the three shades in there. So I do find it a bit frustrating that there's all this kind of blank space, but I do really enjoy these blushes. So uh, yes going nowhere but I do really enjoy these blushes so uh, let me just quickly swatch these for you so I'm going it's going to be the orange one at the bottom there first then this one and then this one <laughs> these are really nice blushes it's a really lovely formula and these can be used sparsely or built up. My favourite obviously is the more orangey one. I do love an orange blush. So yeah, that is the only blush palette I'm keeping. So that is three blush palettes in the declutter box and one to keep. And I will move on to cream blushes next. So the first one I have here is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I don't remember what the shade is and they don't have it. It's, <laughs> they don't have it on the component at all. Um, but it's kind of a peachy, peachy orange colour. I really like this. It's a really nice formula. I'm really, really into cream blushes, cream highlight, cream contour, cream bronze. I love it all. So uh, I probably won't part with any of my cream blushes, but I'm going to show you them all anyway, because this is a collection video. And hopefully you're not all here for the declutters, because what well, I'm actually doing really well. But the intention of these videos isn't to declutter as much as I can. It is just to um, weed out the products that I don't reach for that are basically going to waste in my collection because I either don't reach for them because I prefer other products or I don't reach for them because they don't suit my skin anymore. So yeah, these videos, whilst they are a collection and declutter, they're more of a collection video. Anyway, enough rambling from me. So that elf putty blush is staying. So I have three of the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blushes. The formula of these is amazing. I love it. So the first shade I have is Fuego Flush. If I can open it. And this is this really nice deep yellow. Beautiful. I love to wear this when I'm going to be using either my orange or yellow powder blushes. Beautiful. The next shade I have is Summertime Wine. This is a really beautiful shade. You do have to be, it is very, very pigmented. So if you're of my skin tone or lighter and you don't want massively red cheeks, then uh, go easy with it. But I really, really enjoy these so much. And then there is the Drama Class, which is the absolutely stunning purple beautiful so if you're looking for a high-end cream blush 
well, mid to high end. Um, the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blushes, I can highly recommend. So the next cream blush is from Milk Makeup. I have only tried this once so far, but I really enjoyed it. It's the Lip and Cheek, just a Lip and Cheek and then a little line. Um, it's in the shade Work. Let me just undo the top. So this is the shade. I really enjoyed this. It's the first product I have tried from Milk. Um, I think mostly because their products are so expensive but I was desperate to try something so I've got this little little cream blush and I love it so next I have two elf monochromatic multi sticks I have the shades glimmering guava and dazzling peony these are beautiful Let me show you the shades so this is dazzling peony I got this one purely for the shade name because peonies were my nan's favourite flowers and it just reminds me of her. So yes, it is a very beautiful cream blush um, and the Glimmering Guava colour wise is the one I prefer, look at that. So yeah, these are nice affordable cream blushes, really nice formula. Yeah, e.l.f. seem to be doing a good job with cream blushes. And next on to another affordable cream blush, and that is from Kiko Milano. And it's the Velvet Touch Creamy Stick Blush in the shade 03. And this is what she looks like. Another one with the kind of peachy tones. Um, I love this formula also, so like I said, I, I'm not going to be parting with any of the cream blushes, but yeah. Another formula I can recommend, beautiful. So next up is a brand that is very close to my heart because she is based where I come from, and that is Makeup by Lisa, and I have three of her lip and cheek balms. I have... This one is Geranium, and then I have, which one are you, Water Lily, and this one is Plum, out of the three, Plum is my favourite shade. The formula of these is amazing, absolutely amazing, she has smashed it, beautiful. So whilst they are beautiful cream blushes, they also double up as an amazing kind of lip tint. Um, I have used two of these lip tints, the Plum and the Water Lily. And yeah, they look beautiful. It's, if you're going for a more kind of subtle lip, they're really, really nice. And I can see me using them um, as a lip tint more in the summer. Yeah, if you don't like a heavy lipstick, lip gloss or whatever, um, these might be one for you to try. And there are a few shades, obviously I only have these three. But yes, another cream blush that I highly recommend. And then we move on to the last of my cream blushes. And these are the blushes from Made by Mitchell. I have Posy Rosy and I have Mango Daiquiri. Obviously, this is my favourite of the two. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. They blend out beautifully. I'm actually wearing Posy Rosy today. I have Posy Rosy on under my blush. Beautiful. So, on to powder blushes. I'm first going to show one that is being decluttered, not because I don't like it, not because... I don't like the colour, but purely because the brand I don't believe is cruelty free, and that is the Benefit Rocketeur. And she's barely touched. I did completely use up the first Rocketeur that I had, um, but that was when I believed them to be cruelty free, and apparently they are not. So Rocketeur will be joining the others in the declutter box. So next up we have Madage Beauty and this is the Skin Kiss blush in the shade Secure, Secure Kiss. 
I can't get my words out again today. And this is the shade, very pretty. Um, definitely one for the depths of winter for me, not necessarily for the summer, because I think it's going to be too light. But it would double up amazingly well as an eyeshadow. So I do love how Madage Beauty go out of their way to have their products be multi-use. I like that a lot. And the next one I have is not opened as yet. Okay, so major mistake. <laughs> I have another bronzer. And this is the Madage Beauty Skin Glow Bronzer in the shade Arabia. And this is what she looks like. I'm so looking forward to trying this. But I am awaiting some other products from this collection and as soon as they arrive I will be filming a video with them. Moving on to another blush this is the Pixie by Petra Fresh Face Blush in Beach Rose. I don't ever reach for it so that can go in the declutter box and then we have the Elf Brilliant Mauve just Elf Brilliant Mauve. Um, oh, I don't know why I'm doing that there's no mirror. Um, beautiful blush but again I don't reach for it because I have so many other amazing ones so next up is the Bella Pierre mineral blush in amaretto I don't know if you can see well the color there um I don't reach for this if I reach for a mineral blush I go with the next one that I'm about to show you so this is going in the declutter box and then moving on to the blush I was just talking about <laughs> and this is the Makeup by Lisa Mineral Blush in Coral so it has a really handy little sifter thing you can like lock it so you don't end up with too much out brilliant for traveling amazing formula I really I really enjoy this one so this is staying then we have a blusher from Odin's Eye. It's the Alva Flower Blusher in the shade Sweet Tulip. Look at that packaging. How stunning is that? Beautiful. And this is the shade. Look at the imprint in there. I still have the imprint for now. Um, this is beautiful. I really enjoy this formula. I had heard so many people talking about how amazing it was. So... I pick one up and yeah I get the hype and I still I still keep it in its sleeve just because, because I love the packaging I'm sure I will get annoyed with the sleeve at some point and bin it and it's identical to the packaging of the component anyways for now she lives in her case right and I say last up for blushes. I have two, four, six, eight. I have nine blushes from one brand. So for all of you who watch my videos and know me, you will know the name of this next brand because she produces my absolute favourite blushes. So I'm going to show you them one by one. Um, and of course the brand is Pout and Shout, a UK indie brand. She's very, very new and only on Instagram at the moment. Um, I recommend her blushes to anyone that will listen to me. So let me just show you these. So we have Typhoid Mary. So all of the packaging is upcycled, recycled and she paints them herself. Look how cute it is stay home save nine lives and typhoid mary is this really beautiful kind of pinky mauve absolutely stunning shade and then we have chatty kathy heck the hairball angel sings look at that and she looks like this beautiful and then next up is actually what I have on my cheeks today and it is Juicy Lucy. It says Dwibbly Kisses Portois. And this 
is what she looks like. Yes, I have I have her on and I love her. So next. So next up we have Sensitive Sally. Look, look at that kitty. Look at that face. Um and I have hip pan. Sensitive Sally is one of my absolute favourite blushes. I love an orange blush and it's beautiful. Next up we have Contrary Mary. Uh, fuss over me but leave me alone. And this is what the outer packaging looks like for her. And this is the shade. Another really beautiful orangey shade. She gets used a lot. And the next one is Boozy Susie Milk Sipping Catnip Trippin'. Look at that. Stunning. And then this is what she looks like. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So if you have a shade in mind that you would really love, um, head on over to Instagram and pop Pout and Shout a message. And if it's something she can accommodate, then she will. She is such a wonderful person. I love her. So the next one was actually gifted to me from Pout and Shout and it is Candy Floss Clouds. Look at the outer packaging. <laughs> and uh, this is what she looks like. How beautiful is that? Look at that. Really, let me just show you what the shade looks like. So this is what shade looks like all together look really really nice dusty pink beautiful yeah all of these ones from pout and shout are my favorites so and then next up i have two that were custom made for me specifically in colors i asked for so the first one is rise and shine and she looks I like this. Look at that yellow blush. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. The same amazing formula. And I love it. And then the last one is Pink Me Up. If you're not new to my channel, you will have seen this a lot recently because I just keep reaching for it. And this is Pink Me Up. Beautiful. See, as far as powder blushes go, I highly, highly, highly recommend Pout and Shout because you will not be disappointed. Um, and when it comes to cream blushes, the Fenty Beauty, Makeup by Lisa and Made by Mitchell Blurishes. I'm going to go with them. Anyways, we are now going to move on to highlighters. I'm going to move all of this off of my dresser, bring over the highlighters, and then I will be back. So before we move on to highlighters, I do have this Dr. Paw Paw Hot Pink Balm. Um, I picked this up to trial it as a, a cream blush, because it does say for lips, cheeks, and cosmetic finishing with a hint of a tint. So I'm sure I will try that out in a video coming up somewhere soon. I have no idea. I have so many products to film with that I don't know what's coming when. So you will see it when you see it. I don't I don't have another answer, I'm sorry. So on to highlighters. I'm first going to go with highlight palettes. The first one is definitely not going anywhere, and it is the Sofex highlighter palette. And these are the shades. I really enjoy this palette. There are a few shades that are probably a bit too dark on me for now, possibly would work in the summer, um, but also would work really nicely as inner corner highlights and lid shades. This is a beautiful palette, not just for the money, the highlighters are actually really decent. Um, the Mini for Revolution generally do do pretty amazing highlighters. So, uh, but yes, this is a highlighter palette that I can recommend and I will be keeping. So next up is the iHeart Revolution Gold Elixir. 
and these are the shades the this one makes a really nice shimmery blush topper and then that's a really nice icy pink highlight I will be keeping that and then the last palette is the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter in Ice and this is what she looks like um, I used to use this for inner corner highlights but I've I've got so many now that I kind of forget this is there so I think this is gonna have to go in the declutter box I am being so good so good right so next up I will go for the liquid highlighters and the first one is from Artitude Cosmetics unfortunately it's discontinued but it's still in my collection and I, I want to show you so this is the Artitude Cosmetics glass skin in the shade Hera this is so beautiful it's such a shame that it's discontinued um, blob there on the back of my hand obviously you can shear it out more than that but look at that it is stunning absolutely stunning so yes this is going nowhere and I'm so sorry that you can't get hold of it but yeah that's that and the other one I have, I haven't actually tried yet. So this one was very kindly gifted to me from Nikki Raven. And it's the AOA Studio Dewy Cream Highlighter. Does it have a shade name? Wink. The shade name is Wink. But as you can see, it's still in its packaging. I haven't tried it as yet. So this is going to head back to the Box of Shame. And uh, come out soon to play. So now we are on to powder highlighters, the final category for this video. And the first one is the Ofra highlighter, it is the Mini Rodeo Drive. This is what she looks like. Oh my God, this is amazing. I fully blame Steph Toms. And I'm going to show you. look look at that I wear this a lot <laughs> not gonna lie it is beautiful I know they're expensive but the minis aren't too bad and to be fair I have used this an absolute ton of times and I am nowhere near hitting pan so one this size is gonna last you a long time but yeah, I love it. I love it so much. So yeah, Steph Toms, this is completely your fault, but I thank you for it. So next up was a bit of a surprise, actually. So this is the Beauty Bay powder highlighter in the shade Glaze. Now, the packaging is a bit flimsy, but this highlighter was a really, really nice surprise. Let me show you... Look at me getting swatch happy now we're nearly finished. And look at that. How beautiful is that? I will definitely be picking up some more of these highlighters because the formula is beautiful. Beautiful and it's really high shine. It's a proper see you from space highlighter. So one that I think Anki would love. Yes love it so moving on i have two highlighters here from makeup by lisa so the first one pink sunshine right let me see if i can show you without losing it everywhere i need to get the drops to repress it right so this is pink sunshine So that is pink sunshine I don't know how well that is showing up on the camera um, this is actually the highlighter that I have on my face today 
beautiful. The highlighters from Makeup by Lisa I can highly recommend. They are beautiful, soft, amazing formula. Really buttery. And the other one I have is in the shade Pearl. And I have hit pan. I don't know if you can see. I've hit pan on a highlighter. This highlighter is stunning. Let me... Oh. Yeah, this one just kind of goes on and on and on. Yeah, look at that. It's got like blue and purple shifts in it. It is absolutely stunning. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera. I've got really shiny arms now. And I'm not mad at it. So I have two brands left. So the first one is Kaleidos Space Age Highlighters. I have Skywalker and Solar Sailor. So let me swatch these for you because there is absolutely zero point in showing you the pan because they look white. So that there is Skywalker. I hope the colour shifts are, are showing up on camera. Um, so that is Skywalker. And then we have Solar Sailor. This is absolutely stunning. And then underneath Skywalker is Solar Sailor. This one here, this one, Spiller Sailor. It's not very easy trying to work out where to put your hands when you're looking in a mirror. Yes, so yeah, that was the Space Age highlighters from Kaleidos. I love them. I desperately want to collect the others now because these are beautiful. Um, this one is um, slightly more glittery than this one, but... I don't care I love to shine and these babies shine so yes not going anywhere and finally we are on the last brand the last products so let me jump straight on in so the next products I have are the happy glow lucky range of highlighters from pout and shout amazing so the first is the lucky black cats the packaging is just so beautiful and this is a really icy shade so let me all right so so that there is lucky black cats beautiful and then next up we have lucky dice and Lucky Dice is this really beautiful kind of lavender purple. And and this one, the bottom one there is Lucky Dice. And finally, this one was custom made for me. This is Sunny Days. Look at that, it's got a sunflower. And Sunny Days is this beautiful yellow highlighter. And let's pick her up. So the one at the bottom there, that is Sunny Days, although there are all three of those, look at that, beautiful. So yes, I also recommend the highlighters from Pout and Shout along with the blushes. So yep, yeah, that brings us to the end of this part of my collection and declutter series. Um, next up, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing yet, so uh, you'll find out when it goes up. So uh, if you've enjoyed this, please do give me a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. So if you are new here and you love colourful makeup and indie brands, then 
you need to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload and the rest of this collection and declutter series. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Thank you.